And now? Well, free choice. Ouch! Not this one. Ouch! Oh, gosh! Huh. This one respects me. I'll take it. Hey, this isn't a syringe at all. <laughs> I've literally found the straw in a needle stack. Who else can claim such a thing about himself? A monster must have abducted gold. No normal human being could open that with bare hands. I've got to get through all right, but by cleaning up, well, there has to be a different solution. Wow, 
A real whale? I always wanted Dad to take me to the aquarium. But he was right. There was only room enough for me in that fish tank. Huh. The whale looks hungry. Fish of the day, please. Ugh, I should have said which day. Let there be light. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. Here I am, behind the cracked window. <laughs> Stupid animal. Well, who do we have here? Ah! <laughs> Welcome to Bozo's Trash Trawler. I'm Bozo. Don't shoot! I'm unarmed! What? I don't want to shoot you. Listen, I don't want any trouble. I'll just get my girlfriend and we'll leave. No reason to get violent. So, that's the illusion you were talking about? Doc, what are you doing here? Did this pirate kidnap you too? Don't worry, I'll save you. What's that supposed to mean? I'm not a pirate. And I didn't kidnap anyone either. Well, that was easy. I haven't got much time. I need to keep the Organon from blowing up Deponia. What? Why should the Organon blow up Deponia? I, uh, no, I can't tell you uh, anymore. I'm on the track of a conspiracy of enormous proportions. I, uh, <clears throat> I can't get you involved in all this. You don't know yourself, do you? Well, that's, <laughs> that's confidential, too. All I can tell you is this. I have to find a way to wake up Goal. Well, then you've come aboard the right trawler. I know a lot about brain implants. Just like me. I guess the cartridge was damaged. Hand it over for a second. Just press the eject button. Hey, keep away or you'll board the pain train. Pain train? Who do you think I am? Just wanted to help you. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Almost dropped it. Hold your horses, young man. Such a cartridge has to be handled with loving care. One scratch, and your girlfriend is nothing but organic waste. Don't worry, she's in good hands. Do you have the cartridge? Sure do. There you go. That was the complicated part, right? Stop joking and show me. Ah, yes. What's your diagnosis? Um, the battery's down? Well, in that case, there's nothing we can do. We should scrap the thing and... Wait a minute. You're just messing with me, aren't you? It's just some dust on the contact pins, that's all. Yeah, and you totally fell for it. Well, this shouldn't be a problem at all. Clean the pins and reinsert it. You mean I should dust? You sound like my ex-girlfriend. 
Did you scrap her, too, because her battery was down? Something like that, yeah. Far from it. It's me, Rufus. <laughs> well, doesn't the name ring a bell? No, I... I don't know you. I don't know any of you. How did I get here? Help! Help! Oops, wrong cartridge. <laughs> eh, it was worth a try. Hey, you've stolen my key. And you have kidnapped my girlfriend. Oh, she was not kidnapped. And I can put her back out into the cold if you prefer. And how are you going to do that all without a key? Not a problem. My door is always open. So, you shouldn't be wondering when things get stolen around here all the time. I wouldn't take that feather duster. I use it to clean the tanks. Oh, it sounds promising enough. If you can clean a tank with it, then it must work twice as well for a measly cartridge. I know what I'm doing. Trustful bunch, these pirates. There, open. Let's get rid of the key. What have we here? A small brush, miniature bellows, a sealed pack of hand wipes. Pfft, what useless junk. I want to clean a cartridge, not refurbish a doll's house. Ah, yes, this looks much better. A steel brush and a bottle of degreaser. I'll, uh, leave the girly stuff. Gold's memory is stored on it. Caution advised. Hmm. Ah, well, that's just a tiny speck of dust. We'll have that cleaned up in no time. Oh, blech. The duster has dusted everything with dust. And... Oh, oh, no. Grease spot. I'll have to give it the once over. What the? Even more lint? More dust. Perfect. supposed to be like this. Whoa! What the? Even more lint? Hope it's supposed to be like this. 
Oh no, this is beyond. <laughs> the time. <laughs> the cartridges fill time of. <laughs> the cartridge time of. Ta da! Ta da! Ta da! Good as new! And those scratches could have come from anywhere. So, did you clean the contact pins yet? Yep, all clean and shiny. Very good. Show me. Just a minute. Did this have those scratches before? What? Oh, those. I noticed them before. Inconceivable how those young ladies treat their brain implants these days, isn't it? Yes, and they don't even have to eject them from their drives either. Inconceivable. Well, a couple of scratches. They can't be too grave, can they? Talking about grave, has someone engraved his name and a little heart on there? Um, you better give that back. It'll work just fine. Well, it has to. What? Where am I? Cletus? Is that you? No. Give me a second. You are Rolfi. Rufus. I recognize you. There was that big hole. And then... I remember... A hospital ward. There were other people too. Deponians! So it is true. Deponia is inhabited. The organ on light us. I have to contact Cletus. Well, uh, that's almost a good idea. <laughs> Just almost, unfortunately. Your oh-so-wonderful fiancé is in cahoots with the organ on. Cletus is... What? Ah, uh, my head. Maybe you should sit down first. But I'm already sitting. Don't worry, baby. I'll explain everything. Your implant was malfunctioning. Your fall from the Organon cruiser damaged it. The Organons pushed me off the cruiser? Well, yes. Thank junk, I could fix everything. Actually, it was me who supervised the repairs. Yeah, of course he did, Gramps. <laughs> Everyone wants a slice of acknowledgement. And now everything's all right. And now everything's all right. And now everything's all right again. Exactly. Cletus is a traitor. He's collaborating with the Organon. Of course he is. The Organon is our escort on our reconnaissance mission. Yes, uh, of course, but somehow Ulysses has convinced him to falsify his report. He'll advise the Council of the Elders to blow up Deponia. Despite the planet being inhabited. The monster! Exactly! The Organon wants to destroy Deponia. I know that. That's why Cletus and I came here, to see if Deponia was really uninhabited. But people do live here, and Ulysses wants to hide the fact, so that he can blow up Deponia anyway. We must stop him at all costs. Uh, I agree. You've been kidnapped by a pirate. How often do I have to repeat myself? I'm a garbage dealer. I just wanted to help. Don't worry. I'll keep an eye on him. He won't hurt you. Of course I won't. Why would I do that? You see? I'm protecting you. I saved you. I can hardly remember anything. Not even how I saved you from the clutches of the Organon? There was this conveyor belt, and hey, you were there too. You were operating those levers. Or how I nursed you back to health. I, I remember a, a stinging taste on my tongue. And how I carried you halfway around the planet. Wait a minute. Wasn't there a crane? Well, obviously, you don't remember anything. Be that as it may, you can thank me later. Enough talking. We have to prevent the Organon from destroying Deponia. It'd be best if you took me along to Elysium. Then we could tell your people the truth, and everything will be fine, right? Right. Uh, for real? You're taking me along? To Elysium? Why wouldn't I? All we need is a perfect plan. Heh. <laughs> hey, you're talking to the right man. Perfect plans are my specialty. Okay, shoot. We should take over the Organon cruiser. While you're distracting the crew, 
I'll sneak onto the bridge. Once I'm there, I'll dress up as the helmsman by making a false beard from a brush and some glue. After that, we'll just have to find a length of cable and a screwdriver and, uh... Wouldn't it be easier to pass you off as Cletus? You bear a striking resemblance to him. Well, I don't know. My body is much better toned. We'll overpower him and go back to Elysium together. Oh, that could work. It's a good thing I thought of that. And what about us? Oh, you... Don't worry. When Elysium is informed that there's still life on Deponia, they'll call the demolition off. Yeah, and we'll be on Elysium. We'd be heroes. And everybody will be happy. Exactly. Well, what are we waiting for? Uh-oh. That's Argus and his officials. Quick, take cover. Again, we are searching for a Deponian male and a tall Elysian female. We found their traces, so we know that they must still be nearby. If you find them, arrest them at once. The Elysian must not be eliminated. The Deponian, on the other hand, may. Hey, did you hear that? Yeah. I guess I'm too much of a threat to them. Why? Is he too much of a threat to us? No, don't worry. He's just in our way. Hey. Get to work, men. There must be someone in the compound. Keep an eye on that gate. Don't let them escape. They obviously have no idea who they're dealing with. Stay down. I'll show them the meaning of he's just in our way. Go get him, tiger. I hope Goal is watching this. This is something that I'll only do once. No, that was not a cat. That was something big. A cow! A cow must be entangled in this pile of junk! So it would seem. Ch stupid animal. Whew. It's a good thing I'm always thinking on my feet. Ow! <laughs> How incredibly stupid. Whew, damn critter. Ah! What was that? Don't forget it, there's nothing there. Finally, I can get over there. I hear it too. 
Hello? Hello, who's there? You're Paranoid 2017. <laughs> that wasn't half bad. Hey, half bad is my second name, babe. Stop calling me that. Oh, come on. We need to hurry. Stop! Who goes there? It's me, Cletus, accompanied by my charming fiancé, Go. Finally! I was afraid she'd already eloped with that disgusting deponium. What a bizarre thought. Au contraire, Buttercup. Don't be afraid to admit that you did cast a covetous eye on that, <laughs> Rufus. Very understandable. To me, he seemed like a dashing daredevil. On the contrary, Honey Bunny. He was nothing more than a self-centered fool. That's enough! You two will have enough time to frolic once we've returned to Elysium. Oh yeah, finally, final, um, fi 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 final preparations for our return have been made. Very well. Now, I need to talk to you in private, Ambassador. Uh, of, of course. <clears throat> Why don't you scuttle on ahead, darling? Me and the bailiff have urgent matters to discuss. <laughs> Seemingly. B but shoo shoo, sugar. <laughs> if you insist, <laughs> so we'll see each other in a short while then. Toodaloo. Have you lost your mind completely? I thought we had an agreement. The memories of Ms. Goal must be deleted. And we need the ascension codes. Don't panic. I'm working on it. I'll swap the cartridges and uh, leave the original on the platform. That, that, that should make everyone happy, right? Yes, everyone except for the Deponians. <laughs> if you try anything funny, I'll personally decapitate you with a rusty knife. <laughs> Yikes. People are living here, Cletus. I've seen them with my own eyes. I already told you. Ulysses is right. We can't... Am I interrupting? Rufus, finally! I was about to throw this ignorant idiot from the tower. Don't ask me why I fancied him in the first place. What are you doing, Rufus? I thought we had an agreement. Think again, Cletus. I'll go to Elysium with Gaul. <laughs> this is a joke, right? Please go, tell me that this is a joke. It's not a joke. Rufus will come to Elysium with me. He'll help me to tell everyone the truth about Deponia. <laughs> and you really believe they'll grant someone like him access to Elysium? Why not? Everyone will think it's you. Him? Don't make me laugh. Do I have to get angry first? Are you threatening me? Listen, bub, I've got the third ascat in the art of Shwekhulu. Yeah, just like I do. Oh yeah, what's your dojo? Uh... Five? Five? I mean, uh, yellow. Fire? Capricorn? Ocelot? Damn. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Don't make me laugh. I already told you that you shouldn't ape me. I already told you that you shouldn't ape me. Besides, that doesn't sound even remotely like me. I think he does quite a good impression of you. Huh. Be that as it may, this one-man flea circus will never pass for me. Look at the way he dresses. Disgusting.
Give it up, Cletus. What's this? You're unleashing your lice upon me. Don't make me laugh. You two go ahead and sort it out between you. But... Rufus? <laughs> and you're planning to elope to Elysium with a wimp like that? Don't make me laugh. You can't even hold a candle to Rufus. Enlightenment is not his strong suit. Rufus simply has more class than you. Are you talking about a class of pandemic diseases? Rufus simply has more class than you. Are you talking about a class of pandemic diseases? Rufus has more in his head than you have. Yes, and I'm sure you could feed three horses with it. You can't even hold a candle to Rufus. Enlightenment is not his strong suit. Rufus is miles ahead of you. This I yes, bet he forgot the bolt cutter. Bolt. Of course not. You never know when you have to cut through a wire fence. No. At least Rufus is fighting for something he believes in. Oh, you mean he's fighting for the Easter Bunny? What have we here? A second disguise. Let's see who's the better Cletus. Rufus is twice the man you are, hands down. Maybe his feet are twice the size. You can't even hold a candle to Rufus. Enlightenment yeah, is not well, his strong suit. Almost as good as my handmade disguise. Ha <laughs> ha! The inventory in these rags is ridiculously small. You can't even fit a bucket and mop in there, let alone a parrot and two cats. I'll put my stuff here for now. Rufus simply has more class than you. Are you talking about a class of pandemic diseases? All right, that's enough. At least Rufus knows how to treat a woman well. <laughs> so this is the wimp you want to replace me with? Don't make me laugh. Give it up, Cletus. What's this? You're unleashing your lice upon me. Don't make me laugh. Do I have to get angry first? Are you threatening me? Listen, bub, I've got the third ascat in the art of shwehulu. Yeah, just like I do. Oh yeah, what's your dojo? Uh, five? Five? I mean, uh, yellow. Fire? Capricorn? Ocelot? Damn. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Don't make me laugh. I already told you that you shouldn't ape me. I already told you that you shouldn't ape me. Besides, that doesn't sound even remotely like me. I think he does quite a good impression of you. Huh. Be that as it may, this one-man flea circus will never pass for me. He can try and put on my clothes all he wants and infest them with bugs. There is still one thing where I'm completely different. Oh my... Your sagging butt cheeks? <laughs> My birthmark, you dumbass. Ah, what are you doing? Ouch! No, don't! Yeah! We did it! We really did it! Towards Elysium! Not so fast, buddy. What was the agreement that Cletus was talking about? What? Oh, that. Forget it. That's all toxic waste under the bridge. Let's go! To Elysium! Wait a minute. That's it, right? You don't even care about what happens to Deponia. You just want to get to Elysium, whatever the cost. Me? No! What a change of attitude. He sounded quite different earlier. Deponia stinks. Only idiots live here. If it were up to me, they could blow the whole place sky high. Yada, yada, yada. You keep out of this. Don't believe a word he's saying, Gold. He just wants to drive us apart. But how do I know I can trust you? Trust this rat. Don't make me laugh. No, he hates Deponia. He's an egomaniac, a thief and a traitor. Just go through his things. I'm pretty sure you'll find a backup cartridge, just in case you realize what he's up to. He wouldn't do that. Well, go ahead. Have a look. Gaul, don't. Gaul, listen, you don't understand. I think I understand very well. You know, Rufus, 
I really thought you were something special. But I am something special. I know you think that, but you're nothing but an egotistical scoundrel. You don't only resemble Cletus on the outside. Come over here. I want to take a good look at you before I return to Elysium alone, so I can remember what kind of a face not to fall for yet a third time. Goal. I'm... I'm sorry. <laughs> Bother! What next? Argus! About time to get me down from here! Why should I? From the start, you've been jeopardizing our plans, Cletus. Rufus, on the other hand... You can't be serious. You're not saying you trust this lying rat more than me. Why not? He is indeed a lying rat. Hey. But that's what makes him the perfect man for the job. He'll be celebrated as a hero in Elysium. And he'll get the girl. He'll get everything he ever dreamed of. Do you really think he'd risk all that just to save his home that he loathes so much? He's not man enough to do that. Once Gold sees his true self, he'll lose everything he tried to achieve. He'll never take that risk. Congratulations, Rufus. You did it. Just insert the backup cartridge and you can leave. Elysium awaits you. Do you want me to roll for a while? No, no. Don't worry. I know that you need to go easy on your back. And once we're back on Elysium, I'll give you a nice back rub. Okay? I guess so. Come on, don't make such a gloomy face. In a way, it's a good thing that our inspection was without results. Although, I can't remember everything. Or was there something else? Um. Come on, how about a bit more enthusiasm towards Elysium and all that? Yes? No? Um. What's wrong? Is there something you'd like to tell me? Aren't you happy to be going back to Elysium? I am. It's just that... Well then? Towards Elysium, right? Towards Elysium. Come on, you can do better than that, can't you? Say goal. Yes. Um, well, it's like this. I'm all ears. Well... What are you stammering about? Spit it out. It's just that... You're beginning to scare me. What's wrong with you? All right, then. I'm going to tell you now, but you have to promise not to get mad. Why, Cletus? Why would I get mad at you? Calm down. Relax. Relax. Some con man erases my memory, poses as my fiancé, and almost gets me involved in a genocide, and I'm supposed to relax. I, I told you about it, didn't I? I mean, I'm the, I'm the good guy. You'll be the dead guy if you don't return my old memories. But that'd be suicide. Believe me, buddy, not doing it would be suicide. Okay, okay. And now remove this fragment of pseudo-personality from my brain. And don't even think about inserting it again. Yeah, yeah, I'm working on it. Ungrateful... Ooh, fortunately, the goal on the other cartridge likes me a bit more. to go faster. We need those codes. Yes, Bonif. You do know what's at stake. If Ulysses had had his way, we'd all perish here on Deponia. Yes, Bailiff. Any problems here? No, Prime Controller, sir. Just a relay that short-circuited. This matter is of no concern now. I want to address the crew before we head on to Portofisco. Immediately. As you wish, Prime Controller.
You heard the man. Get moving! It's now or never. loves the righteous, so on and so forth, right? Well, think again, buddy. It's almost ironic. For once in your life, you decide to do the right thing, and immediately you lose everything. <laughs> your dream turns into a nightmare. The love of your life is lost, and your home planet gone. <laughs> I would really love to pity you now, but the cable boat is ready, and the ascension codes have been entered. I don't want to let Elysium wait for me any longer. After all, they're expecting a report from me. I could have left already, by the way, but how shall I put it? My back is troubling me. I don't want to do all the rowing by myself. So, hand over the cartridge. Now, Gull's memories about your failed attempt to mess with my plans should still be stored in her short-term memory. I can delete that in a minute. Hand it to me. Ha, <laughs> you wish. What is going on here? The Organon. Always on time, always reliable. I guess I owe you an apology. That rat didn't swallow your cheese, Bailiff. But I'm not an unforgiving person. Once Rufus hands over the cartridge, we'll be able to carry out our scheme as planned. Now more than ever. You heard him, Rufus. Give him the cartridge now. Come on, Rufus. Be reasonable. I will return to Elysium no matter what. You can't change that. But if you hand over the data, you'll at least have a chance at saving goal. So, what do you say? Do we have an agreement? Never. Well, I guess I'll have to row myself then. Too bad. But I should have known that your pride is more important to you than Goal's life. <laughs> I bet you already figured out a nice lie to tell her when she wakes up and then realizes that you've brought her a front row seat for Armageddon. Ah, uh, wait a minute. No, no, don't waste my time. Give me the cartridge or don't. L let's talk this over. And why, pray tell, should I listen to you? I just want the cartridge. Nothing else. Okay, you win. Here's the cartridge. <laughs> How unusually reasonable of you. <laughs> and I bet that Goal would be thankful too. Unfortunately, she will never know that you even existed. My, my, my. Deponio will make such a great display of fireworks for our wedding. <laughs> I hate that guy. Cletus? What? What happened? Um, a lot. Uh, uh, can't you remember anything at all? Of course I can remember. I... I... Um... We too were on board an Organon cruiser. We wanted to inspect Deponia, right? We're on Deponia now. Our mission is over. Did I fall asleep? There, there was an accident. You fell from the cruiser. That's why you can't remember anything. But take a look around. Deponia really is deserted. Unbelievable. Nothing but junk. Yes, just junk. Nothing else. Come, let's go home to Elysium. We have to prepare our wedding. Yes, let's go. Well, that's that, I guess. I'll be on my way, too. The way home to Kuvak is long, and I need to prepare for the apocalypse. Not so fast, Sonny. You didn't think we'd let you leave just like that. You know too much. Also, I believe you have something that belongs to us. Oh yes, the cartridge. Hmm. Give it to me. What is it? What are you waiting for? Oops. No! <laughs> So long, suckers! Uh, no! Get
get that traitor! Shoot him! Well, my friend, did you lose something? The cartridge? Uh, bravo, Prime Controller, sir! Come to terms with the truth. You failed! So, Rufus, what are you going to do now? Look at you. You're cornered. See you later. No! Stop! Stop. What are you doing? Stop! 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 Ah, you damn fool! Let go! Uh oh. <laughs> Back so soon? <laughs> that was a pretty impressive fall, and you managed to land in the pile of needles. Never seen anything like it. You have my respect. Everything all right, kid? You seem a bit stressed out. There. The course is set. Next stop, the floating black market. Good. Great. Fine. Are you all right, Rufus? You sound all tuckered out. You didn't finish telling me what happened up there on the tower. I don't want to be nosy, but... Uh, is Deponia safe? That's out of my hands now. Now look at you startled, the brain implant cartridge has not been swapped, which was all part of the plan. A world has been rescued that he did detest, who'd have guessed, I attest, you'd have done just the same. So if you still want to force me to do stupid chores, like washing the dishes to the trash and such, you'll just prove that you haven't paid attention to what I said. The message at its course like, huzzah as a rule. Huzzah, the chorus guys rule. Hello, hello there. Welcome to this resume. I apologize again for my crooked voice and uh, losing my voice. It took quite some time before it came back, but uh, here we are. It was an easy point and click gameplay, and uh, it's quite something completely different that I'm used to. It was uh, it was interesting to try. I am uh, very tempted to try the last installment uh, called The Pony Doomsday, and uh, that's from 2016. Just to compare uh, both the graphics and the gameplay and the dialogues and everything. If I think it's uh, just as fun to play or better, I will put uh, some episodes up on the channel. Um, but do please do leave a comment in the section below if you have uh, any suggestions and ideas. I'll gladly take them under consideration. So some short uh, pros. Uh, well, most of the dialogues in the, the Ponya had me entertained um, some were very ironic and uh, I always like that um, you often needed to think outside the boxes uh, in order to solve some of the puzzles and uh, I like uh, I like the rough simple uh, cartoonish uh, design style of the game um, the cons 
The volumes between the game dialogue and the in-game music were not aligned, uh, sometimes not at all. It was too loud music and you couldn't hear what it said. I tried to adjust some of the settings, uh, but at least on my end they didn't help, and uh, I felt like that disrupted the gameplay from time to time. Talking about the dialogues, uh, well, either you uh, you like the Rufus guy attitude or you don't. Um, despite the irony and the cheesy lines, uh, I, I got a little annoyed on the Rufus guy attitude in the end, and also some more dialogues could need a, a bit more finesse, you know, just a little, just a little more, I don't know, something. It would, it would really help the gameplay to make the puzzles on the same level, uh, just uh, make it fairly easy, I mean, but it's also, again, uh, do you want a fast playthrough, do you want to feel that you're gonna get something out of the game, or do you make it too difficult, that you're never gonna solve it, I mean, it's a... Uh, I know it's 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 not easy, but uh, at least that's what that's my thoughts around it. So with those words, uh, I will say so long. And uh, what comes next, I do not know. I am still in the search in the market for a new game. If you have any suggestions, please leave a comment. So until next time, keep safe, take care, and stay cool. See you soon. Bye.